गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दूरी टॉपिक कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट प्रोटोकॉल्स इन केस ऑफ अ नेटवर्किंग सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट प्रोटोकॉल्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर फर्स्ट इज एच टी एम एल एच टी टी पी सेकेंड वन इज एफ टी पी थर्ड वन ट्रिपल पी then smtp then tcp ip then pop3 https telnet vuip so one by one we will discuss these protocols so first protocol is tcp ip so this protocol it is used for requesting to the server for a particular request this loop protocol is used the so tcp ip now i am going to discuss tcp ip protocol one minute better so first is here http protocol beta first http protocol stands for hypertext transfer protocol it is a set of rules which is used to retrieve linked web page address across the web so whenever you are going to make any request theek okay? hai you will use एच टी टी पी प्रोटोकॉल तो जब भी आपने कोई वेबसाइट पे सर्च करते हैं नेट पे ठीक है और ओपन एनी वेबसाइट यू टाइप एच टी टी पी देन लाइक डॉट लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस प्रोटोकॉल इज योर इज यूज फॉर रिक्वेस्टिंग क्लियर तो विद दल्प ऑफ दिस प्रोटोकॉल आप रिक्वेस्ट करते हो सर्वर को किसी भी एक पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट के लिए तो दिस इज अ रिक्वेस्टिंग प्रोटोकॉल तो फर्स्ट प्रोटोकॉल इज एच टी टी पी एंड वेन वी यूज एच टी टी पी एस प्रोटोकॉल इट इज यू इट स्टैंड फॉर हाइपर टेक्स ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल इट इज अगेन ए रिक्वेस्टिंग प्रोटोकॉल सो बट इट इज मोर सिक्योर so whenever you are going to open any banking website or any website that contain very important and uh, sen uh, very sensitive data we use https for example if we copy the url of online banking sbi online banking so we are using https because the banking data is sensitive that's why it is secure because uh, here it it show that uh, this particular website has received the digital certificate and digital certificate is a uh, one certificate issued by certification authority at indi it indicate that this is a genuine website for example before the website there is a lock symbol if we click, click here it will show the digital certificate okay so ye hame digital certificate ke bare mein hame uh, and uh, will give the information okay so any doubt in this students any doubt okay 
now next is next protocol we are going to discuss here tcp ip basically the tcp ip is used to send the data from receiver or from sender to receiver so with the help of one diagram i am going to show this So, in the case of uh, TCP/IP, there is a one computer that is called sender. And another computer that is called receiver. So we suppose we want to send one file means data which we which we want to send. So the TCP in the receiver side has two parts TCP and IP. Okay, two parts are there in the receiver side. TCP kya karte beta? आपके डेटा को स्मॉल स्मॉल पार्ट्स में डिवाइड कर देता है दीज आर कॉल्ड पैकेट्स डिफरेंट पैकेट्स ओके एंड दीज पैकेट्स कंटेन द आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ सेंडर एंड आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ रिसीवर सीरियल ऑर्डर एंड द मैसेज एंड दीज मैसेजेस आर इन सीरियल ऑर्डर और जो सेंडर साइड आईपी है इन पैकेट्स को servers uh, receiver side data by using different locations okay so here is suppose it is first location second one third one then fourth one and we are sending these packets तो रिसीवर साइड टीसीपी का काम है डाटा को डिवाइड करना क्लियर द पर्पस ऑफ टीसीपी इन सेंडर साइड इज टू डिवाइड द डाटा इनटू स्मॉल पैकेट्स एंड आईपी सेंड दीज पैकेट्स एंड इन रिसीवर साइड दीज पैकेट्स आर रिसीव्ड बाय टीसीपी ओके तो ये टीसी दीज पैकेट्स आर रिसीव्ड बाय रिसेंबल करते हैं और पैकेट जनरेट कर एक कंप्लीट फाइल जनरेट कर देता है टीसीपी आई पी इज ए secure net uh, your protocol reason is when the receivers receive the packets it send one confirmation report to sender side that the packet is received suppose receive a sender does not receive a packet or a message in that case it will that packet will resend again to iska matlab ye hua ki agar receiver ko koi packet nahi milta to wo packet fir se resend hota hai और वो रिसीवर को मिलता है तो दैट्स व्हाई 
TCP IP is called secure network. Okay, students, any doubt in this? Aditya, clear? Yes, sir. Okay, beta. So this is TCP IP. So may I repeat, I'm again repeating, TCP is a protocol, stand for Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. This protocol has two parts, TCP and IP. I mean, the different work with that. Sender side, mein, in a sender side, TCP stands for uh, TCP divide the whole uh, file, complete uh, file into small packets. These packets contain the IP address of sender, IP address of receiver, then uh, the uh, serial order and the message and data. Clear? Or jo aapke paas, uh, IP of the sender side packet code send karte from sender to receiver by using different locations. And in the receiver side, these packets are received by IP and send one confirmation report to sender that uh, the, this packet has been received. Suppose if that packet is not received or confirmation is not received by sender, that packet uh, 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 resend again to the receiver. And in the receiver side, the TCP assemble these packets and create the complete file. This is the complete TCP IP working. Now next is, next protocol we are going to discuss here. So we have already discussed uh, three protocol, the HTTP, HTTPS, TCP IP. We have already discussed. Now next protocol. Next protocol is triple P. So we are going to discuss triple P. Okay, students. Triple P stand for point to point protocol. So it is a It is used for transmission of IP packets over serial lines. Okay. Whenever we are connecting, in, in the case of network, we are connecting two or more uh, in the network, we connect. Uh, different computer with the help of wire. So these signals are traveled by using point to point protocol and the, uh, it is used for transmission of IP packets over serial lines, okay? But uh, whenever you are using internet, we are using TCP IP protocol. It is Currently, the best solution of for dial up internet connection. For broadband, we are using TCP, uh, TCP IP, but for dial up connections, okay, the dial up connections are those connections in which we use with uh, which uh, use internet with the help of telephone lines, okay. So, वहाँ पे जो normal telephone call होती थी, वो ऐसे आप internet accessing के लिए use करते थे, ठीक है? Now next is, so it is so any doubt in this बेटा point to point protocol? 
If you have any doubt, please raise your hands. Manvi, are clear? Okay. Next protocol is. FTP. So now we are going to discuss next protocol that is FTP, file transfer protocol. Basically, file transfer protocol is used for uh, uploading data in server and downloading the data from the server. This is not for a normal user because whenever you are using internet connection, uh, you can upload your profile pic uh, or your uh, your uh, image in your uh, social networking websites. This is no doubt. This is uh, uploading the data and downloading the data. But whenever you are updating any website, your website is saved in server. With the help of FTP protocol, you can assess the files which are saved in server. You can change that files. You can also download the files, upload the files. So there are two different, uh, uh, you can say, uh, work of FTP. One is called downloading. Downloading means saving. data from server to client okay next one is uploading it means saving data we are sending data from client to server so this is order ftp so there are different protocol, uh, different uh, applications that are used for FTP. Okay, for example, there is a core FTP software. So for this, uh, you will uh, fill the URL of the website and then user ID and password. When you are filling that, uh, it, it window will appear. It has two parts, files. In, uh, in a left hand side files from a client side and uh, right hand side files in server. So you can drag any file from server to client or client to server. So when we use FTP protocol, we use it to upload or download it to the websites. Okay? It is for web developer. Because you have a website save on the server. Mein save hoti hai. So you are working in a different computers. आप उस कंप्यूटर से अपनी फाइल्स को शिफ्ट कर सकते हो ट्रांसफर कर सकते हो क्लाइंट टू सर्वर और सर्वर टू क्लाइंट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई वांट टू अपलोड द सैंपल पेपर इन स्कूल वेबसाइट व्हाट आई विल डू विद विद द हेल्प ऑफ एफटीपी प्रोटोकॉल आई विल अपलोड दीस फाइल्स टू द सर्वर ऑफ स्कूल वेबसाइट एनी डाउट इन दिस भूमिका क्लियर सुप्रिया रिपीट कर दो मैं रिपीट कर रहा देखो बेटा आप जब आप कोई भी अपडेशन करते हो वेबसाइट ठीक है तो मैं यहां पे डायग्राम से शो कर रहा हूं तो सपोज टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ स्कूल आवर स्कूल ठीक है तो स्वामी संत दास dot com website is saved in server तो अगर मैंने इस सर्वर में कुछ चेंजेस करनी है वो मैंने एक इसमें सैंपल पेपर अपलोड करने हैं स्कूल की तो दिस वेबसाइट इज सेव्ड इन सर्वर वेब सर्वर दैट इज फार अवे फ्रॉम मी ठीक है तो वो मेरे पास नहीं है काफी डिस्टेंस पे है तो मैं क्या करूंगा इन माय कंप्यूटर I will transfer the file 
from client here is this is a client computer this is a client computer so client computer mein mere paas ek file hai theek hai to main fa is file ko with the help of ftp protocol i will shift this file to server theek hai again from server to client i can transfer the file so it is vice versa to so agar main ftp protocol se ftp software se अब अगर मैं आप एफ टी सॉफ्टवेयर ओपन करूंगा सपोज इट इज ए कोर एफ तो मेरे पास विंडो के टू पार्ट्स बन जाएंगे ठीक है एक पार्ट में मेरे पास जितनी भी फाइल्स हैं मेरे कंप्यूटर में क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर में दिस इज ए क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर और ये मेरे पास है फाइल्स इन वेब सर्वर तो डिफरेंट फाइल्स इन माई कंप्यूटर विल स्टेट and different files in web server will be displayed so main yahan se koi bhi file ko drag karke yahan pe likh aa sakta hu this is called downloading theek hai web server to client this is called downloading and moreover i can also drag any file from client computer to web server this is called uploading to so, isi tarike se जब आपके स्कूल की वेबसाइट में कोई अपडेशन होती है कोई आपके पास सैंपल पेपर्स आते हैं या सीबीएसई की वेबसाइट में कोई सैंपल पेपर्स आते हैं तो इस तरीके से डेट कर सकते हैं अदरवाइज सोल्यूशन इज गो टू दी कंप्यूटर विच इज वेब सर्वर और वहां पे जाके चेंजेस करो बट इफ योर वेब सर्वर इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू इन दैट केस यू विल हैव टू अपलोड द डाटा और डाउनलोड द डाटा विद दिया प्रोटोकॉल दैट प्रोटोकॉल इज कॉल्ड फाइल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल Is it clear, brother? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Next is next protocol which we are going to discuss here. SMTP, SMTP, SMTP software uh, the uh, the protocol. We have discussed earlier the point to point protocol. Now we are discussing about SMTP. Because this protocol is used for emails. Okay, this email only server uh, protocol. Hai. This is not for simply sending the data. Okay. so uh, it stand for simple mail transfer protocol so this uh, protocol stands for simple mail transfer protocol it is used when you send email to another email user it is used by mail transfer agent it stand for mta to deliver the sent email to the receiver to so, isme mta ka kya kaam hai beta wo helpful karta hai ki data ko send karne ke liye par protocol kaun sa use ho raha hai simple mail transfer protocol it will pick the data from client uh, one uh, the server email uh, email address and uh, if the servers are different to so, jahan pe mera uh, suppose i want to send one email 
तो मेरे ईमेल जो मैं ईमेल सेट करूंगा मेरे ईमेल सर्वर में सेव होगी उस फाइल को एफ टी एम टी सॉरी मेल ट्रांसफर एजेंट जो रिसीवर के ईमेल सर्वर में सेव करेगा तो प्रोटोकॉल हम जो यूज करेंगे दैट इज कॉल्ड सिंपल मेल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल इट इज यूज टू फॉर सेंडिंग ई मेल टू इन अदर ई मेल आई डी एनी डाउट इन दिस क्लियर okay then next protocol is pop3 this is again for emails pop3 stands for post office protocol 3 okay is for form is post office protocol 3 it provides a simple and guys we for users to access mailbox and download messages to their computer so jab aap hame email id ko access karte ho so which protocol you are using post office protocol and if you are downloading some emails with the help of third party software like uh, uh, your uh, uh, microsoft uh, there are some tools are there to aap koi bhi email ko agar download karoge in aur usme aap use karoge pop3 so pop3 stand for post office protocol 3 it provides a simple and standardized way uh, for user to assess email and download the message to their computer system so aap jure nahi ki aapke paas you will have to open the email id theek hai to kai aise softwares hote hain jin software ki help se kya kar sakte ho aap aap email receive bhi kar sakte ho email send bhi kar sakte ho jaise aapke paas microsoft ka ek tool hai one minute i am going to show that Outlook Express. तो so, अगर आप Outlook Express से कोई भी प्रोटोकॉल कोई भी ईमेल आई डी सेस करते हो ठीक है देन यू आर यूजिंग पॉप थ्री इट डजन मीन की आपने ई मेल आई डी ओपन किया एंड यू आर असेसिंग दी मेल इट मीन इट इज पॉप थ्री इज वर्किंग इट इज वर्किंग वेन यू आर असेसिंग दी ई मेल आई डी एंड ई मेल With the help of third-party software like Outlook Express, this is a product of Microsoft. Here, look at it. Outlook 2016. So you will have to make some changes, some server settings. आपके यूजर आईडी पासवर्ड आपने ईमेल आईडी का आपको फिल करना पड़ेगा ठीक है आफ्टर दैट इफ ऑल ईमेल्स विल बी डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम सर्वर टू योर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम क्लियर दिस प्रोटोकॉल इज यूज फॉर दैट इट इज क्लियर बेटा इज इट क्लियर Yes. Any doubt in this? Chitesh, clear, beta? Yes, sir. Okay. So here, Outlook Express is an example of third-party software for assessing the emails 
uh, without opening the website okay of a email service provider so next protocol is VOIP. So its full form is voice over internet protocol. We have already discussed this protocol. One minute better. So, VO IP, it is a communication method, methodology designed to deliver both voice and multimedia communication over internet protocol. So, this is used for when you are doing any video chatting or video conferencing, where your voice, video as well as your uh, audio go from one side to another side, we are using VOIP protocol. So it is a communication protocol designed to deliver both voice and multimedia communication over internet protocol. This is voice over internet protocol okay students uh, time is over now i am going to close the meeting take care bye bye